Eight feet long? At least eight feet. Yeah, I'm pulling this. Okay. Come, bye bye. There we go. Look at that. It's the most expensive fish I'll ever see. You see the bait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, come. Hey, what's going on friends? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ashley and I make new fish videos every single week. So remember to smash that subscribe button and come join the family. So um, today, in today's video, we are going to be doing a store tour at Blue Crystal Aquarium. But before that, I just want to give you guys an update. So in my previous video, I asked you guys to guess what fish did I get for my tank? So for those who don't know, in my tank I have blood parrots, tiger bobs, a turtle, clown loaches and many more fishes. And uh, yeah, so I asked you guys to guess and firstly I just want to thank everyone that participated and guessed. Um, I love your comments, some were really hilarious. And uh, I think the most common guess was plecos, plecos, plecos. Some even guessed the L600 that we saw the unboxing of in the previous video. And um, followed by the most next the most common guess is Oscars, and then after we have sea bass, the chubby parrot that we saw, and some of your guess for Hakka puffer and arowana, and yeah, no, those were none of those were the fish I got. One person did guess it correctly, and he is Aaron Chia. So he commented Lohana, and for those of you who don't know, um, Lohan is another name for flower horn so yes i have a flower horn living in my already crazy combination tank of turtles blood parrots tiger bobs there's even zebra daniels in there clown loaches the list goes on and uh before i explain myself about everything that i took into consideration i want to hear your reactions so go down to the comment section below and let me know um, are you excited to see the fish or are you just pissed off and because you think it won't work also that I know in my next video how much I need to explain myself oh and also um, infamous TM commented everyone who guess who answer correctly will get free water change from Mr. SG Bearded Aquarius for one month so Aaron Cha if you want a free water change for one month then let me know all right so I will see you guys at Blue Crystal Aquarium and enjoy the store tour Alright guys, so we are here at Blue Crystal Aquarium Let me see if I can get it in the background uh, Yep, Blue Crystal Aquarium And uh, there is a lot of awesome stuff to see So let's go in and check it out So right where we enter, there are two display tanks So this tank is really interesting It's what they call over here EcoSand system So check it out we have an aromana inside, some tin foil bobs, a couple of plecos, and the best part about this system is that I'm told that there's zero water changes, and there's also no filter. There's only an air pump and a water pump just to circulate the water, but it doesn't go through any filter. And yeah, apparently um, in the substrate, there's a certain kind of bacteria that can uh, denitrify the nitrates it's crazy man zero water changes on a bio load like this and over here i am told that this arowana i mean like okay firstly let's just take a look at how long the fins are there's crazy coloration and the fins are so long and so this is achieved purely through selective breeding and I'm told that there are only like seven of these pieces in the world and uh, this one isn't for sale but I'm told that one of them was sold for hundred thousand dollars that's uh, sing dollars so hundred thousand Singapore dollars for one of these beasts and yep, it's so rare that he doesn't sell it. Really, it's it's crazy how long the fins are. Look at that. You open, like this. After you feed him there, one one enough, lah. Then 
one, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, it's the most expensive fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Check this out. So, Yep, who is the owner and boss of Blue Crystal Aquarium, he has taken part in a lot of different arowana competitions. So these are all his trophies. Look at that. And uh, he even was a judge in one of it over here. And yeah, these are all the Aquarama when they were held in Singapore, 2013. And now here, this is 2015. Moving on, so he has a he has a lot of arowanas, but over here he has some other fishes, some barbs, thin foil barbs. And up top, we have a flower horn. Crazy coloration as well. Look at that. And bumblebee groupers. We got three of them. Again, very nice colors. This guy chilling at the back. Yep. So down below some coys. And uh so we're going through the smaller fishes first before I show you guys all the awesome arowanas. Electric blue Jack Dempsey's. They look like they are all pretty... Whoa, they want to be fat but they are also pretty skittish. Rainbow fishes. Balloon rainbow fishes. Barbs. Cichlids. There's quite a few flower horns. Look at that. And trust me guys, this isn't even the main focus. Although they are pretty damn cool. Yeah, this guy is pretty aggressive. So a couple of small fishes here. Goldfish. Frontosas. Oh look at these cute guys. Wobble wobble wobble. Angel fishes. And more goldfish at the bottom. Let me show you guys something that is crazy. So he has a monster tank. Crazy monster tank. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys. Like I don't even know how big it is. I'm looking at it right now and it's probably... It's a little noisy in here too. So I'm, I'm looking at it right now and it's probably... Uh, I don't know. Eight feet long, at least eight feet. It's really deep as well. And uh, let me show you guys. I can't even get the full thing on camera because it's so wide. Look at that. 
So we have a carp over here, albino carp. And uh Asian arowanas which we are gonna see a lot more of later. Four Asian arowanas in here. No three Asian arowanas and a silver arowana. Yeah so yes. Yeah one two no that's a silver. One two one two three Asian arowanas a big silver arowana and Alright, let's go to the fishes. This is a flat tail Fei Fong. Nice and big. There's a couple of tin foil bobs inside. And look at the giant stingrays. So um I'm not familiar with stingrays. I don't know what species they are. Yes. By the looks of it there are two species in here. So I'm told that this is used for breeding them as well, so they do breed in here. And oh, check it out! Look at what see. What is he hungry? So if you ever wondered what the bottom of a stingray looks like, there we go. And down he goes. Yeah. So looks to be oh, this is a different species. So I think there are three different stingray species in here. And this is the biggest one, like, oops, this is my hand, in front of the glass, and look how big it is, look at the size, and check out the bass, looks like the three of them are just chilling side by side, and they all look so awesome, look at the bass, he looks so fierce. Yet in this tank, everyone else outsizes him. And the flag tail, okay now it's in the light so you can take a better look. Look at that. And another bass hiding behind. But definitely crazy. The size of this tank is just... Let me know in the comment section down below, like, if you have a tank this size, what would you put in it? I'll be so torn between putting in monster fishes like this, or like going crazy and like maybe a school of like 500 tiger bobs, or, or 1000 Raminos Tetras. Absolutely ginormous. Crazy guys. Okay, so we're gonna feed the monster tank. Put this in and look at that. Whoa. Maybe I could take some bone. Just getting some prawns. This is what? Fish, ah? Uh? Kuning fish. Kuning fish. Yeah, kuning fish. Okay. Come, bye boy. Look at that. Instant reaction. Come. Come. And it goes down to the bottom for the stingray. The arrow one has a huge appetite. 
All right, let's move on. So he has a crazy collection of arowanas. A lot of Asian arowanas, some silver arowanas as well. And they are all really quality, quality fishes. So um, I think I'll get him to share later on in the video. But just to give you guys a prelude, um, basically all his fishes in here are all from Kalimantan. So he flies down to Indonesia by himself, like in person, to go and select the arowanas and bring back. So um, he chooses only the best arowanas that are all from Kalimantan. And uh, if you want to know more about like the Kalimantan different grades and uh, how to groom your arowana, I, I did a video on it so you can check it out. I'll put a link at the top right hand corner of the screen. But yep, you really have to see how beautiful they are in person. More arowanas. So this looks more like a green base arowana. You can see the greenish tint on the scales. And up top, look at that. And you know, there's a blood parrot living in there with him and a tin foil bark. So on this side, this is a semi short body Asian arowana. So it wouldn't get as long and as big as the normal Asian arowana. And down below Look at this guy. Look at the gold coloration I mean, and the shine. It's a lot of shine. So that's why they're inside white tanks right now. This is what they call the white tank treatment. It brings out the shine of the arowana. So it's not so much for the colors, but if you look at the, the scales, you can really see that it shines. I hope the camera can pick it up. Definitely can see it in person. Like look at the head as well. See, you see the shine. So that's what this white tank treatment is supposed to be for really bring out that shine to the scales so here we have what this is the sumo body arowana so when you talk about sumo body we're looking at the the, the body itself and um, so versus you know some arowanas will be higher and some will be thicker and fatter and yep here's a couple of other cool fishes down below Flat tails, giant gourami, some Joe Fagus, really pretty guys. I really like this Joe Fagus. Alright, and look at this up top. Look at this guy. Those are crazy colors right there. Look at it long fins long pectoral fins shiny body let's get him to turn and crazy coloration look at the red the beauty but he's so excited that he doesn't want to turn look at that guys look at that Wow, crazy. Now check this guy out. So I was learning just now also about how we classify arowanas by the, you know, we hear these terms cross back or red tail or high back. And basically it goes by how high the color goes. So if you call it a cross back, it has to cross on top. And uh, it's not necessarily always the case and we'll look at other features like the polling at the back let's get into turn the polling at the yeah right here you see you see those scales yeah. definitely intense colors i think 
my camera sort of overexposes it a bit so you can't really see how golden it is it turns out a little it turns out pretty light because of the exposure of the camera but when you see it in real life under the light it really goes full gold down below pretty nice tank eh lots of blood parrots and yeah they always do that see so now they're all up in front and we even have flower horn a carp interesting mix of fishes in here and yeah this guy is really excited and a silver arowana so more arowanas Asian arowanas really pretty guys like i know a lot of a lot of you guys are arowana fans so this is this must be a real treat for you definitely if you haven't you gotta come and check this out for yourself so up top here another red arowana so you can see how it the red is at the tip of, of the every scale it gives a really nice effect so some people might prefer the whole scale to be red and uh, I think there's a classification for that I'm not too sure but this is this has its beauty in its own right so we can see this one the, the pectoral fins are not as long as uh, the hundred thousand dollar one I was talking about at the start or even the previous red one that I talked about but definitely still a beauty down below more arowanas going through white tank treatment and uh, so another interesting thing that they're telling me about is um, so there's, there's this thing we call helmet basically you see at the top of the head like there are some arowanas that will be completely black and no coloration over there and so this we wouldn't call it a full helmet yet because it's, this, it's not you know flushed all the way but you can see that there's coloration at the top of the head in between the eyes basically and yeah I think there's one more that was there this one over here no this guy so this guy see the shine at the top of the head is really colorful and really shiny as compared to um, this guy that we saw just now so he has his own beauty in his own right but if we take a look at his head again you can see that it's completely black right so he doesn't have that helmet that they have so different different arowana keepers go for different um, value different looks and oh check this guy out so this is like the combination that's how we saw a red one with short pectoral fins and then we saw you know um, the longer pectoral fin one and but this guy is like the, the best of both worlds crazy colors very deep and you can see how this compares differently right so the red here fills up a lot more of the scales the fins are very long but just yeah so he's getting excited we need him to turn as well over here buddy come on looks like an absolute dragon like if you look, look at it from the top crazy guys this is crazy there we go look at that and I think this is the first time also that I've seen an arowana being so aggressive and personable like most of them don't really respond too much to human interaction but this guy is like he's be behaving like a flower horn so personality there color there fins there size there crazy look at that probably my favorite arowana of this shop over here we have more arowanas for sale so these are blood red arowanas and over here we have what they call um so i was told that okay you see there are so many arowanas in this tank so um we have one what is it panjo red 
and then the rest are all the super red so in the if you go back to my arowana grooming video uh, Marcus was talking about like G1 and G2, grade 1 and grade 2. So the super red are the grade 1 and they stay, they start off, they're not as colorful when they're young, but they get a lot redder when they grow older. And then the panjo red is the grade 2, which start off redder and then as they grow older, they lose their color. And so um, just now we were like playing this game where we were trying to guess which was the panjo red because it's not. We need sort of a trained eye to see but ultimately we came down to identifying the um, shine of the scale so I, I'm not I, I, I'll probably struggle to guess it again but basically the, the punch rate the scale was not as shiny as the rest let's check this thing out a whole bunch of little small blood parrots let's get them all here really love it when you react and respond so tin foil bobs inside as well and more arowanas again all of them come from uh, Kalimantan so it's he was showing me the places that he went to and uh, I don't know guys so like I feel like one day I just have to go along and check it out because I love to see fishes and their natural habitat and yeah, it was showing me the places like literally you go into the, you know, places with no electricity, sort of floating houses. So these are silver arowanas and so they have so crazy coloration at the bottom of their, their fins. Look at that red, red line, the albino silver. Down below in this tank, oh, they're going crazy, guys. Joe Fagus, very pretty fish. Very pretty. So Joe Fagus are actually they also caught like earth eaters, and um, basically what they do is they sift through the sand at the bottom. They are substrate. Of course, now there's no in this uh, display or cell tank. There's no substrate. But if you have substrate, they'll just constantly go through and search for food. So they keep your substrate very clean and they make sure they keep turning over so that they don't accumulate all the debris or detritus. And uh, yeah, some coils inside as well. But definitely very pretty. Look at that. That iridescent color that they get. One of the prettiest fishes in the industry. So. Maybe I'll just give you guys a, a big view of the area. So here was where we saw the flower horns on top. Goldfish and all of that. Smaller fishes are all here. And flower horns, the bumblebee grouper uh, over there in the front. Here he has a lot of different arowanas, different sizes, different types, the albino silvers. And usually down below is where he keeps his other fishes. So we have the whole accessory area. Um, different types of food, lighting and all of that. And yeah, I haven't shown you guys this, but more crazy arowanas over here. Another guy up top. And behind, that was where the monster tank is. Look at the stingray going up again. Then here, this whole row was where we saw most of the arowanas. So look at that. Crazy. Alright guys, so um, I'm here with Yap, who is the owner of Blue Crystal Aquarium and also we have uh, Ian, who Hi. is a friend of Yap yeah, and yes. also has been supporting my channel a lot so thank you bro, you're welcome and uh, so uh, I just want to ask Yap, like, why, what got you started into the aquarium hobby or this industry? Mm, because uh, young time, uh, small time, uh, stay in Kampong uh, every time go to Longgang, catch the small fish uh, my friend, uh, you see, maybe uh, after I pick up uh, one open one duty to a column shop in my feet. After I step by step, after Mary, no time, no time to uh, drink uh, uh, my drink. Uh, that, uh, one day at the low hands, a very hot time, my friend said, Hey, bro, you want to go to try to open one a shop? 
So uh, last time, uh, although Han maybe not fought in uh, the night, uh, 2000 years, 2000 years. The time uh, I start, I start, start my dream, open one and them shop. How old were you when you started? I uh, started the uh, 30, 30, 33, 33, 33 years old. Uh, the children still small and they're just many few years. <laughs> uh, the, the, the pocket is uh, a bit hard. Uh. Yeah. Because I uh, open one and claim so uh, these two. After my, my wife said, you sell your home, uh, sell your home, maybe you can give some money, open your shop, uh, start your dream. Like that. Okay, I think maybe can uh, uh, try, try my best. Uh. <laughs> try until now. Uh. Until now, uh, this uh, 33, now allow uh, 33 uh, 30 33 years. Uh, allow uh, 20 years. Uh, 20 years already in the experience uh, open shop and open farm. After I come back, it is the one solo. By the long time. Uh, okay. allow them, uh. So you are sharing about, that's why you are sharing with me that you, all your, all your aromanas are from Kalimantan. Yeah. You go down to Kalimantan and you source for them, you choose them yourself, right? Personally go down yeah, and yeah, pick personally the... go down the big. Uh, beautiful la, beautiful thing uh, every time over every uh, six weeks, uh, around one month to six weeks, I uh, must go uh, Kalimantan. Every time uh, go Kalimantan and Puerto Sipal. Enjoy la, enjoy okay. the train la, because uh, some Many area I also first time go that uh, first time see the the area. And, uh, very beautiful, very very natural. Uh, the very natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Ayap, as I said, Ayap says uh, he goes to personally goes to five flies to Indonesia to Kalimantan to find the customer's fish. So if a customer has a certain fish that he likes or a certain like, trait, or certain long fins, or certain body shape, or certain unique trait, I personally goes down to find the specific type of the now, fish for the uh, Now I want to try in my fin is uh, my product. Uh. My product is beautiful la one. Uh. Uh. This is what I want to say. Beating uh, You want to uh, yeah. breed? is to breed a very nice yeah, unique yeah, arowana. Yeah, beating, so, start so. beating by the project. Uh, uh, in Kalimantan. In Kalimantan. Yeah. So his own personal... Think this like the long bee, big tail like yeah. that. He's looking yeah. for his own bloodline or own lineage or own unique traits of the fish that he wants to do to, for, for his dream to achieve. To be, to be sold in the Singapore, to be sold in the market in Singapore. So, so he, he plans to have a farm in Kalimantan. Yeah, yeah, Kalimantan. Yeah, 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 Kalimantan. Yeah, Kalimantan. Okay. Yeah, then, so you can, as he said, ready to, to share and also to sell his vision yeah. to his customer and local, yeah, locally also. Yeah, try to my bidding project, big beauty food place, yeah. uh, like the next train, Alawana, like the bigger tail, mm -hmm. spoon head, long feet, like that, yeah. like the beauty food place. Okay. This is my yeah. dream. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so um, guys, if you guys uh, are looking for Aruwana, then I'll put the information down in the description below about how you can contact uh, Yap. And then if not, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Peace.